Hey guys, welcome and thank you for joining me. It is a beautiful afternoon. Um, not the best reason I got to take this thing out for a ride. If you watched one of my earlier videos, I put a alternator in a food line bag and showed you it would fit in the bag on the back of this thing. Um, and that's where I'm heading now. <clears throat> I did that with my iPhone. And now I'm taking it over to AutoZone to get replaced um, on the Tahoe. But it is beautiful out. It's about 90 degrees. Gorgeous. Um, actually, a little toasty. A little on the toasty side. But I did call them. They said they had it. We will see if that is true. You know, the way that works. Show up and uh, if you get any help, it... Uh, it's not the right part <laughs> so hopefully it all works out all right um yeah i'm wondering on maintenance on this i'm still going to purchase the operator's manual not operators the maintenance manual on this on how to take apart everything on this thing pretty much um so i will doubt you'll know, get that it's on a thumb drive and see what special tools you need for certain jobs because uh, I know the belt needs to be changed coming up change the fluid in the rear differential um, possibly going to have to replace that with all the clunking you hear in these things and of course it will go out right after warranty so then they will just soak you for the four or five hundred dollars to replace it or fix it so I'd rather learn how to do it and save on myself you know, do it myself um, what else? The oil change is simple. I will show you how I do that. There's probably already videos out there. If there is, I will send a link when I do mine. I'll just give you a quick overview of it and then say, here's the link. Um, if they do a good job at making a video to where it will help you. Um, it'll definitely save you money to do it yourself than to take it to a dealer. Um, they will charge you a couple hundred bucks. So... Um, what was the other thing I still had to do from a comment? Oh, somebody commented, will the k air filter fit on the belt side air intake? Um, I have not tried that yet. i got to see if those two air filters are interchangeable. Anybody could actually check it. I'll take your one out for your air intake and put it over by your belt intake and see if it fits in that same compartment. If it does, then obviously the k and will fit it. Um, whatever one you purchase, that one that I told you to will fit all right here's a red light you know what i do here i hate these things let me edit this out i don't want to bore you all right how was that pretty quick for you guys all right um somewhere up here i'm going to try something new maybe speed the video up um where it's not so boring just because this road gets real straight 50 miles an hour it's kind of boring so maybe i'll try speeding the video up and throwing a soundtrack in there but, um, yeah, so I definitely going to change the oil, uh, check on the uh, coolant when you're supposed to change that out, uh, the gearbox fluid. So I got to go on that and see when all the required maintenance is for that. Um, actually, I'll make a video and I'll post it right here on the screen. How, how do you guys like that? Um, when the oil change is recommended, when the gearbox with the rear differential fluid is recommended. Um, they recommend changing your air filter with your oil change at 3,000 miles. Now, being full synthetic, you can go much further than 3,000. I'm not going to, being that these things rev so high. Um, I want the most, you know, lubrication as you can get. All right, let me try something here. Hold on a second.
well, that was fun. Uh, trying something new just to um, make this a little more interesting. That was a straight road, and I think you've seen it a bunch of times at some of my trips. I've got my shorts on, sneakers. Um, it's that warm out. It's probably 90 degrees out here. It is toasty when you stop at a light like this. All right, let me edit this out. I'll get back to you in a minute. All righty, I am heading to AutoZone. I don't know if I mentioned that at the beginning. Um, got the alternator. You've probably seen the video where you fit in the alternator from a Tahoe in this bag in the back. Everybody asks, will it hold this? Will it hold that? Um, I did have somebody joke around and say, well, it won't fit a 20-pound turkey. <laughs> I may get one and just try it and then either cook it or donate it. Um, but I may try fitting a 20-pound turkey in there and see if it fits. And so I'm running this alternator up here to AutoZone. I called and they said they have one. Um, we'll see what happens. While it's nice out, might as well get it done. I thought it was the power steering pump going on it with rattles and the bearings and all that thing that has 260,000 miles on it. But uh, the other day the amps were dropping on the gauge when it was running. So it did it to me this morning when I was heading to the pool with my little man. And I opened up the hood and it's no mistake. You could hear the bearings just falling out of it almost. Um, out of the alternator so I'll run in here and let them uh, help me out with this and uh, it depends on what one I have ranges from like 95 bucks up to 175 right? I guarantee you which one I have that's always my luck all right I'll get you guys in just a little bit Alrighty, backing up. Got to head across town. Of course, they had the wrong one. But um, they said if I run across town and get it from over at the other store, they will give me 10% off. So that's good. I'll take the 10% off. And it looks like it's going to be, I forget what they said, 130 or something like that. So that's not bad. I'll take that. But um, it's a beautiful day. And I don't have no plans really except to get this thing fixed. It's very easy to fix. Um, it's got one tensioner. Anybody that works on cars, you'll understand. One tensioner, loosen the giant serpentine belt. And then it has two bolts that hold the alternator in, and it's right up on top. Um, one bolt to unhook the ground, and then the power cables just unplug. Um, so it's absolutely simple. I mean, it probably took me 15 minutes to disconnect the battery terminal and do what I just said and put the alternator in plastic bags, you know, little, little food line bags or whatever and stuck it in my case. Um, probably took me 15 minutes at all, you know, the whole time. So we're heading down Timberlake Road here. We gotta go all the way across town. Um, still not bad. I mean, I, I don't mind. Nice day for a ride. Gives me uh, some extra miles on the bike. It gets boring uh, just driving to and from work on this thing. You know, there's really not many roads I can take to get back and forth from work. And, you know, so it uh, kind of gets boring. At least this way I got to travel some new roads. But I don't want to bore you guys with the traffic lights all through here. Um, oh, before I edit out and jump down the road here. Uh, let me show you the Harley Davidson place up here. I went in there looking for a bike and they had a sweet one, like a Roadster style. Um, beautiful bike, all blacked out and it had a little bit of chrome on just the bolts. I mean, it was beautiful. It had the same style seat that's on the Riker. It is right here on the right. Of course, there's a whole ton of bikes out there. But that's the Harley of Lynchburg. They do a good business. I mean, they have very, very good customer service. When I had that balance issue on this right front wheel, I took it there, being a bike shop, motorcycle. Um, they could have got the tire off, but they did. Their balancing machine would not go to that size hub in the center. Uh, motorcycle hub on a, the Harleys and all are bigger. 
and it wouldn't go down to that small of a size. But, uh, but they were more than willing to help me. I mean, they were super, even though it's you know totally off-brand compared to what they sell. Try to get into the shade here a little bit, get out of the sun. Um, but they were super, excellent, excellent people. All right, let me edit all this out. I will get back to you in just a little bit. Hold on. All righty, I'm back. I am about halfway across town, if not more. Um, didn't want to bore you with all those lights. There's a ton of lights right there on Timberlake Road, and I hit most of them. So I didn't even talk between them because I knew I was just going to keep editing them out. And I just said, I'll just block out that whole piece of video and pick it up somewhere down this way. And this looks like a good spot to start talking again. Um, there's a Vance Auto. They might even have it, but I normally stick with AutoZone. They have a good record of all my vehicles and what I've purchased. Um, and you get reward points and all this other stuff. When you have older vehicles and you do your own work, hold on, let me get a um, I mean, it's worthwhile. Any little bit helps. Help on maintenance and cost of maintenance on the vehicles. But uh, even if I put, oh gosh, I don't know, $500 a, a year into this Tahoe, it's still cheaper than the price of a payment on a newer vehicle. That would be one month payment on a new vehicle. You know, and I don't think I put 500 a month or 500 a year in the parts on this thing. You know, it's very rare. Uh, I do put wipers on it once a year. Um, gosh, what else? Tune-ups are every couple of years, you know, obviously, because I don't do that many miles on it. Um, tires, you're looking at every three to four years, and that's a fair amount, but still even that, if they run you six, seven hundred dollars, that's a month and a half of a new car payment. Um, and you do that every three years or four years, I mean, give me a break. So, uh, when people tell you, oh, you know, it's going to cost you a fortune, you're fixing it and all that, I don't see it. <laughs> I mean, even if I put $2,000 motor in it, um, you're looking at four months. That's less than a half a year payments on a new vehicle. Because the average new vehicle, you're going to be at $500. Anywhere between four to five, or even six. Um, and I don't lease them. I mean, I'm not going to rent a vehicle and let you make money off of it and then me just hand it back over and not get any of my money back. Um, that's ridiculous. That's, that's very poor money management there. Um, but yeah, so it's... You know, even if you put a $2,000 motor in my truck, um, you're looking at less than a half a year uh, payments. That's my way of thinking of it. And, uh, you know, I did when I bought it. You know, that was in 2002. My payments were 502. Um, and I paid that sucker off as quick as I could and haven't had a payment on it or my wife's car. So, works out for the best. For us, other people, they got to have the latest cars and the uh, newest to keep up with the Joneses and to make sure everybody sees it when they pull in the parking lot at work. Um, and that's just not my style. Give me a ratty pair of shoes and I'll go run in the trails or ride a bike or something like that. Um, that's just more me. All right. Let me edit out of this, and I will get back to you guys in just a little bit again. Alrighty, I am back. This is uh, AutoZone right here. Um, that part of the road was just some more stoplights and boring. But let me pull in here, and hopefully they knew what they were talking about, and they have my alternator hold on while I hobble off of this thing. Alrighty, back again. That was simple, but very long. They poor, poor customer service there. They were taking forever, and the manager was so nice um, that he realized, you know, I didn't say a word, and I was standing there forever to get helped. And then when I was being helped, a guy stopped and helped somebody else, and interrupted, and I mean, it's just ridiculous. So. Uh, it was actually like 137 something, and he ended up giving it to me for 103. Um, he gave me another discount just for being patient and quiet, I guess. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Um, 
But that's my adventure across town and picking up an alternator with the Riker. Um, hope you enjoyed the ride on a beautiful sunny weekend. I think it's Saturday today. I'm not sure when you guys will see it, but this is a Saturday. It's about 90 degrees. Um, and I think uh, the other video you watched the other day, I just did make it home in time where the storm came in. Uh, I want to say it just started sprinkling when I pulled in the driveway. But talk to you guys later. Thanks a lot. Bye.